978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man978 Chill Reviewing Marvel Select Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man. It's part of their 15th anniversary. I don't know whether it's Marvel Select's 15th anniversary or just Diamond Select altogether. I felt like they're a little bit older than that. But here's this stuff right here. And if he looks wonky, it's because I opened this already to play with it. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get home. Here's this image on the back. You see Doctor Strange and Star-Lord are coming out. Here is this read up right there. Pause it. And down here it says sometimes their products vary because they're always continuing to improve it. And I'm happy about that because look at those red joints. I was like, oh no, I don't like that. But he doesn't have that problem. Inside the packaging, Spider-Man comes with this little rooftop setting. And this thing isn't, isn't cheap. <laughs> this is a solid piece of plastic. So that is cool that they added this little extra thing in there, this extra display base. There are no peg holes or anything. I guess if you want, you could have it facing this way. I don't know if it'll be connecting to anything else, so I guess it will be should be facing this way, or maybe that way. Whatever for pictures, you could shoot a picture real quick, cut all of this out, and you're good to go there. Now to Spidey himself. He is rather nice. He feels way solid and way better quality than your typical meta <clears throat> your typical Marvel Legends, excuse me. But is he terribly, terribly better? In some ways, I like his color scheme. I like the molding on his body and whatnot. And I like the paint and detail. All the joints are tight and feel stiff and whatnot. Here's the back of his head. And here is this right there. It's good. If I really, really look close, I can't tell unless I'm looking at it in the camera. The paint is bleeding in between that leg right there, so that's unfortunate for me. I'm trying to make sure you see all the details. I like the shoes better than the Marvel Legends one. No, no, his body just overall. Let's bring out the other, the Marvel Legends, so I can compare it right away. Yeah, the body. I've always thought that this part of his body. It sort of resembled what he looked like in the movie, but I thought that looked a little bit unnatural, especially how low the shoulders are. Now, one thing that I didn't notice till I brought out the Marvel Legends figure that I don't notice on this figure, like the tech pattern, the tech details that were definitely there in the movie that you can see right there, he does not have that on his body at all. Like straight at all that is completely smooth and not there their spiders are similar on the back both molded and they both do have the lines on it I like that they try to give you some extra dry brushing and whatnot to make this sort of like the DC figures and whatnot, but it just wound up looking a little bit dirty where it doesn't look like that on this team. Now I do have to admit, when I really, really pay attention to this body right here, and I didn't own the um, the Amazing Spider-Man mold of Marvel Select mold, but this body does look more like the Amazing Spider-Man body more than the Tom Holland body. And uh, uh, Andrew Garfield, that was his name. But it still looks good. And I'm shocked at his articulation. Like, I was happy about this because my first Marvel Select figure, Lady Deadpool, didn't have this. He has a ball disc, so his head can look up all the way friggin' up. So I'm happy about that. And of course, there's a ball to swivel. There's not a lot of pivot. 
the shoulders are very stiff like they're the most stiffest joint on him but I could move him completely out of the box which I did like his the way they molded his shoulders and his chest it's sort of like the teenage body from Marvel Legends and let me let you see this they did paint that they it's kind of scraping off more on this arm than it is right here this one isn't scraping at all but what I mean is when I say it's like the teenage body it can come in a little bit even though he doesn't have a butterfly joint but for some weird reason on this side it doesn't really go in <laughs> so that's that's weird that they they did that or maybe something didn't get molded correctly on this side but this arm goes in I don't know if every figure is gonna be like that but that one doesn't really go in much but so I was happy when I saw that he could still crunch in without a butterfly joint but that's he doesn't do that on that side he has bicep swivel double jointed elbows and this is one thing that stopped me from getting Marvel selects them not having double jointed elbows and look at that freaking bend that's a transformer quality <laughs> bend like you don't even need that much elbow bend unless you're transforming into something the wrist hinge out and then all the hands I'm going to show them off now one other thing that's disappointing to me is two more three more things that's disappointing to me I like a diaphragm joint you can crunch in that much crunch back that much and of course rotate and swivel to get certain poses as you see fit and as need be but I would have liked an ab crunch right down here or whatever like if they had a crunch down here lower so he could bend forward more that would be good and this spider-man is known for it spreading his legs out and getting into flying high flying leg poses and whatnot why they would go with this type of joint system that looks like that i don't know i'm gonna be honest with you when i first started posing them that got drove me crazy but then later on I got past it and I stopped looking at it but that is there and I, I can't even freaking deny it one good thing about it is when he kicks forward his butt keeps the, the same shape so maybe they put priority on the butt so that he could be able to kick back like that so as you can see he can do the full splits and pretty much the full Van Dam, as they call it thigh rotation double jointed knees the knees don't fold in as much as the bicep I would have liked a boot cut I swear I would have liked the boot cut for spider-man definitely the ankle pivots and it kicks back very far and kicks forward the one thing I like that they did they painted these little treads on the bottom of his feet the Marvel the legends doesn't have that at all so I do think that's cool and he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet and here's what the treads look like on the bottom of his feet now before I forget this blue is so good I almost couldn't tell I thought that the red I thought that the blue was plastic as well but I think it's mostly red and the blue is painted on the red so they did a good job right there because that is solid plastic red I don't see any paint besides the lines but this blue you can't even tell that that's paint so that is awesome but anyway here are his flipping hands you can see he has the little web shooter button right there and the web shooter is on the inside of the arm just like the Marvel Legend he comes with two of those of course he comes with two fists and this is one of my favorite spider-man poses i've been doing this since my first amazing spider-man marvel legends figure as you can see they have the web details all the hands have the web details and they have the web texture as you can see right there so it's a fist he also comes with these web swinging hands right here now i don't have my own webbing but this thing did come with some twisty ties so basically it's something like this you feed that through the hands 
if they don't bunch up on you like like these are doing to me right now and then he can swing around and whatnot with whatever type of webbing you have or whatever you want to use for webbing so that's cool if you're thinking about putting him with your marvel legends keep in mind that he is tall as crap he's taller than human torch right there and he's not too short compared to thor whereas this spider-man is considerably short next to thor so at the end of the day this is a cool figure it looks nice it doesn't have that tech suit detail that's something that might drive some people up the wall i know this will drive people up the wall if you really look at it i mean i've started ignoring it halfway through throughout the plan with it so i don't know you might never get past that that is a major thing the way they they chose to put those joints on there lady deadpool didn't even have those joints and i wish he had more articulation in his ab area because it's spider-man and spider-man is supposed to be like very flexible so yeah other than those things it, it still is a good figure it comes with a bunch of accessories and this thing right there i kind of would have rather a head an unmasked head but yeah it, it's still a cool figure and very nicely painted and whatnot so i can't hate on it on it too much diamond select aren't super duper flexible marvel legends but this has a lot more posability than most Mar most Marvel Selects figures, so you, you got to keep that in mind too. Most of them don't have double jointed elbows, or some of them don't have double jointed knees. So there you go. With that. Anywho, if you like this video, let me know you like this video by liking the video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell, comment. I read all my comments. I'm gonna have an unboxing after this video. It is nuts. So please come back for that. That's probably going to be up shortly, like not too many hours after after this is up. Anyway, until next time, T Man 978 out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.